This is the kid's drawing. Some kid was here and drew in my notebook. And I don't have kids. So I don't care about your drawing. I'm going to write on it. And I thought it was funny. It's like a little dude. Feeling just how I feel. I've got opinions. I'm going to do a dance. I'm a lobster. Ant-Man. Hello, inter -world wide webbies. It's Kim. I have opinions about things. First of all, I need to get it off my chest because it's so stressful working in the service industry. Do you guys work in the service industry? Well, it's summertime. And what is it about people in the summer on vacation? Large groups of people, one, large groups of people in spaces, small spaces, become so dumb. But it's like they're on vacation, so like, whatever. But yeah, you bury me my mayonnaise. Give it to me. I need it. I will die without my Dijon. No, you won't. Just enjoy your vacation. Somebody came up to me and gestured to the towering, filled with liquid, with a spigot, next to, I would say, let's, about 50 glasses that you would drink out of, spigot, and says, now, is this water? Is it water? What else would it be? This is a Is it? What? 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 You mean H2O? Is it molecularly water? Is it vodka? Is it clear? Is it Pepsi clear? Does it have bubbles in it? This is where my inner elementary school teacher mother comes out in, in me and wants to be like, could you, I mean, could you ask a more specific question? Like, do you, I just stood there like, mm-hmm. Now, I would understand if you wanted to ask me, could I help myself to this water? Is that allowed? I get it. You don't know. You come in. You've never been here before. You don't know. Can I just help myself to this spigot next to a pile of 50 glasses that obviously looks like you could just help yourself to water? You could still ask me. And I'd be like, oh, sure, go ahead. But is this water? You're going to get the rage eyes. I'm going to burn a hole in your chin. Because I don't want to make actual eye contact because that would be rude. You burn a hole in your chin with my rage eyes. Today, there's a line of people. It's a cafe. You walk in, you place your order at the counter, we take your name, you go sit down and relax, and enjoy your nice iced beverage that you ordered with decaf and extra shots of vanilla and just hold the chocolate and whatever other things you need. We'll do all that, it's great. Go relax, enjoy it. Okay, we call your name, Susan! You come up to the place, oh, there's your food, and you get it. In line, people standing, waiting in line, come up to this counter. Ten minutes they're waiting, because the people in front of them are taking forever. Whatever, that's what happens. You've got eight people in your family, your kid doesn't like cheese, I don't know, whatever. They come up. They've been waiting. Do you know what you'd like? No, I don't really know. The menu's on the wall. What were you doing for 10 minutes in line? What were you doing? Like, seriously? Do you want that for here to go? I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to stay? I don't know. Is there a table for you? Let's go look and see if there's a table for you. We'll be right back. No, somebody else needs to go. Uh, people. Decide in the eight minutes that you're waiting for you to place your order if you're going to stay here and to go. This is like, I, I know, I have a conference with my friends when we go out. 
do you want to order drinks and appetizers and dinner or do you just want to have appetizers and we'll go somewhere else for dessert do you want to save room for ice cream down the street we've got this all plan out and you know what I'm not gonna waste the server's time like being like oh I'm sorry I just don't know yet can you just hold on one second hmm 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 like we don't have any other work to do and then people come and ask you oh could you just take a picture of us at the table because this unique location is like of historical rev uh, relevance to your life, this sitting down at this like table with a few chairs around it with your girlfriends, two of them, and you're gonna... Oh no, we didn't really like that one. Could you take it over? Look, he's got stuff to do. He's supposed to be cleaning the bathrooms and the tables for this line of people that are waiting. Our job is not to take a picture. Ask another customer who's on vacation to take your picture. How about that? What are they doing? They're just swimming and paddling boats and shopping. They've got all the time in the world. Ask Nancy or Susan or David. They're not coming to pick up their sandwiches. They're sitting there waiting. That's what I feel about it. It's going to make it through to the end of August, and uh, I don't know, man, these people. Susan! Susan! Is this mine? Are you Susan? Yeah. What is this? I don't know, Susan. I don't know what you ordered. I don't know what your friends ordered. Is this Spetty's? I'm like, I don't know, is Betty with you? Did Betty join you on your lunch date today? I don't have the name B Betty, I have the name Susan. There's three sandwiches. So three people with you, Betty? And what's your other friend's name? Jean? Okay, well, Betty and Jean, we didn't take their names, we took your name, Susan. You were the keeper of the flame. It was your job. You accepted it, because you gave your name. I don't know what your friends got. I don't know if it has mayo or not. I just did what the slip said. Don't talk to me. Love you. Love you people. I want to make you yummy food. I just don't want to talk to you. It's true. You don't know that though. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You don't know. You don't know you shouldn't talk to me. I mean, I kind of look like Maleficent in the shape of a dragon breathing fire. I wouldn't talk to me because I sort of have intuitive, but I don't know. I went out to eat recently at a restaurant and I swear the waiter hated me specifically. And I'm like, bro, I'm one of you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to pick the easy thing. I'm like, I got the easy beer. I just want a hot dog. That's what I wanted. Looked really good. You didn't have it. You didn't have the beer. I got upset. You know, I thought you would have it. But then I was like, oh, that's what happened. The waiter like hated my guts. He wasn't having any jokey fun with me. So I gave him a good tip though, because that's what you do. No, maybe he had a hard night. I'm gonna go visit him again later. <sighs> Guys, it's hard. Tip your waiters, tip your service. If you don't ask for mayo, extra. Just be nice about it. I don't know. Efficiency.